Hey, how's it going? I was going to say, I'm back, but... <laughs> okay, I did a, a video with a setup, and then... And then I turned it off because I was rambling. Okay, so I'm going to try these water-soluble oil pastels. And I'm going to do it on this pad of mixed media paper by Canson. It is 98 pound. There are 60 sheets in here. It's for acrylic, watercolor, and pen and pencil. And I got like a two pack. I don't know the price right now, but uh, if this goes to YouTube, I will post the current the time that I post up to YouTube, it'll probably be a month or so before I can get this up there, but uh, I'm just kind of doing, um, you know, a water, watercolor crayon test, I guess. And what I'm going to do is, one of the things I was thinking about, is I'm just going to do a little, I need a pencil. You'd think I would have everything ready. I do. I'm just going to do like a little test here. I'm going to do a flower on this side. And then I'm just going to, first I'm going to like test them out. Test out the colors. Hopefully all the colors. <coughs> the flower I've chosen, oh excuse me, is this one which looks really bad in this green panel. But it is a very vibrant, dark, deep pink. And, um... The stem is kind of a grayish green or a very pale green type of stem. It was uh, one of, I think it was one of my mom's favorite flowers. Or when I look at it, I think of her a lot it's because she was really good with flowers. She definitely had the green thumb. I do not have a green thumb. <laughs> Unless you're talking about taking pictures of flowers. Then I've got that. Yeah. Okay, so what I did was I arranged the colors the way I normally like to have my colors, you know, going, um, like first the colors of the rainbow and then finishing off brown, gray, black, and white, and then, uh, and do it like that. I'm just kind of weird like that. I like to have my colors sorted. They're all in a, they all came in like a mi mix match type of thing. <laughs> and like, who puts up the colors like that, you know, put them in the order, order I like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off with red, and we'll just kind of kind of see. I watched uh, the paper's a little loose here. Uh, eh, not too bad, it is kind of a, an oil. So I'm going to see uh, how well they go on this mixed media paper. Pretty good, actually. And I oh I was telling you I was I watched a very extensive very comprehensive um, review of various water soluble crayons pastels uh, it depends on the company what what it's called what these uh, writing or coloring oh no oh this a uh, this was broken. Oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, you never know what you get, right? This came in a package with other items, and it only had, you know, it came just like this, and it was wrapped in cellophane. And I'm going to take my little pen, water brush pen caps out. This was, this was like that, and then... It was just like that, you know. So, I've already noticed that a couple of the colors were chipped. Like this one was chipped when I opened the box. And uh, this one, a little bit chipped. Not used, but chipped off. I can tell that because the pieces in the gray, too, was like that. The gray, and I think maybe... The black had a little bit missing there, and all of the pieces are in the box. So I think they chipped off maybe during shipping or something, but that one with the yellow, is that yellow? Uh, salmon pink, that's not salmon pink. 
That's more like yellow, so I'm going to move that over. This is orange. Oh yeah, that is orange. It doesn't look like it's orange here, but <laughs> it's orange. Okay, then salmon pink. So I guess I should probably do... See, that's how I, how I get them out. <laughs> I get them out by pressing on the tip. For the sake of color. And this is yellow orange. Ooh, that's very smooth. And uh, one of the comprehensive review was done by Karen Tamir, and she did uh, several different types, different brand names. Uh, and this was uh, included. Uh, this set was included in the mix. That looks more brown than anything. So I'm just going to do this a little bit. up here. So there are 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24. 24 colors. They go on very smoothly. With one broken, full-on broken tip not very happy about that. But it still works, so not gonna cry about it either. <laughs> Ooh, that's the color of that flower. Can I, I should keep that one out. Magenta. Might have to I might have to go to the flower side. Okay, fine. I'll do a flower on the next page. Because I want to go through all 24 of the colors like that and then see how well they blend out with water. Is that another one? What is that? I'll see. Did I do that one? One, two, three, yep. Yeah. This is dark gray. This doesn't look like dark gray. <laughs> not even not even there does it look like dark gray. Black. That's kind of a hard. All the elements have been smooth. White, very difficult to see on a white background. I hope I can see it later. Maybe I'll Okay, so I'm going to use a relatively, relatively thinnish type of brush, water brush, pen brush. Make sure everything's cleaned off. It is cleaned off even though it looks like it's dirty. It's a cleaned off tip, tip there. Okay, so let me do the white. What do you see? I see nothing. Also, I didn't cover the paper with anything. Oh, I have black on. I have black. <laughs> it's on my fingers. Oh dear. Not gonna worry about it too much. Did that blend? I have no idea. Maybe I should have put that on a dark dark color. Do I have a dark color? Darker color or something? Anything? <clears throat> I have this. <laughs> so you can see it. Is it going anywhere? Not really. Not good for card cardstock paper, I guess. That's weird. <coughs> okay, so I don't have anything in the realm of a dark colored piece of paper. 
that would qualify. Okay, here's a flyer. <laughs> a flyer is trying here. Can you see that? You can kind of a little bit. Yeah, it does blend out a little bit. Also, I've got some residue debris of white on there. Maybe I pressed too hard, or I would think that it should be mixable. Whether see those pieces? Wow, it makes it look like the car is on. It's smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another thing I, I do want to try, so that is that's the white. <clears throat> kind of hard to see. Okay, so what's I'm going to use to clean it, uh, to clean the bristles between uh, Messings, messings around here. Hmm, not bad. I won't be able to go out that far on on these or these. So these would be good for uh, if you want to you don't have any watercolor paint, you could actually use these to make your own um, watercolor paints, you know. <clears throat> you, I would just recommend, like I have a palette here, <laughs> a mixing palette, and you could just, you know, go like this, or you can shave a couple of pieces off into it, and then just do... this and mix it up, you know, and and do it that way, and then you can just, you know, like that if you want to. <clears throat> Makes for a very, of course, the, the more water you add to it, the lighter the, your color is going to be, and that's different than adding, say, white to the mix. Okay, the next one is this gray. Add a little bit of water to the tip. Not from the, straight from the barrel. So, there was a little bit of line, lineage right there. I could see right there. But it is blending out kind of nicely. This is more of the, like, elephant gray type of deal. I can see a hint of green in there, even. Do you want me to come down further? I, I will zoom in for you. <clears throat> I don't know how well you can see that here. Okay, then this one is dark ochre. So you could also, another thing you can do, I'm going to show you this in a minute. This is dark ochre. This has like a reddish tint to it. I'm also thinking I should probably use... Um, a flat, what I call a flat head brush or a flat brush. Do that. So you could also do this. Kind of uh, brush brush the tip of the crayon or the pastel here. Let's call it a crayon since it looks like a crayon. And then do this. 
That's not a whole lot. I've had better luck with other types of pastels. Okay, the next color is dark brown. It does look like it's dark brown. <clears throat> to switch up and use uh, this one okay now there we go also this is a good test because I put these on what a few minutes ago maybe uh, 10 or so minutes ago, so have do they dry out faster? I would think they wouldn't dry out faster, but I can see that the part there that I made, the little square, so that's a little disturbing to see that. Also, on to... So this is lavender. It's weird because it looks much darker and it looks blue in the screen panel. <laughs> so, but it's uh it's lavender. How well does it do when the paper's already wet? Not too bad. It looks kind of nice. Then add maybe a little more water to the mix. Spread it out a little, but I can see those lines. I I did not press very hard either. And I think because it's mixed media paper, it's thinner than the watercolor paper I have, which is 140 pound. So I'm seeing some some pilling or some of the paper coming up, which is not good. Okay, we're going to go down again to the 
over here, this green, which should be green. Is it just green? It is cardamom green. Or looks a lot like Kelly green. Or just plain green. I see my paper is uh, bending up a little because uh, it is only 98 pound. It's and even though it says it's okay for watercolors, it's mixed media paper, so you can mix your media right on here. But what I'm seeing is it's leaving behind not the paper, but the the swatch is being left behind. You know, I'm adding water to it, and it should be blending in. Taking that out. <clears throat> also, what I noticed is uh, green tends to hang on. The green color tends to hang on to these brushes a bit more so than other colors do. That's the first thing I notice with these water brush pens. Okay, this next one is olive. Okay, that does look kind of olivey. Let me uh, hold the paper down. Not a very, it's a very light olive color, I would say. Good thing you didn't tack green on at the end of there. Although, here, has more of a greenish color. Here, tennis ball color. <laughs> tennis ball green. Or tennis ball yellow. Goes my light wand. Really? <sighs> just, a just a minute. Okay, we'll use that one until it shuts off on me. It might be sooner than I think. Look at this one. Look at that. So I can see they're left behind. These little squares are left behind. Oh, that's not good at all. So don't don't draw a bunch of little squares and then expect to be able to pull the color out with them. At least not on mixed media paper. It might be different with uh, watercolor paper. <laughs> like my little flower. Okay, I'm going to do... This is watercolor, 140 pound watercolor paper. Okay. And... We're going to do all of them. I guess I should do like this. Like. I 
obviously not going in the same order I was going before. I'm just doing the bottom tray, the bottom row first. Once again, white might be difficult since this paper is kind of white. Well, can you see that? Well, you can't see it at all, actually. You can't really see that white, but it's right there. <laughs> I swear it. So I was going to, I know I was going to say something pertinent. Probably had to do with my mat. My mat is a plastic type of, like a rubber mat. A clear rubber mat, silicone mat, some type of mat on the floor. So the paint or the pastel that chipped when I dropped the pen, <clears throat> um, I was able to clean it up with a baby wipe. Okay, so I'm going to leave that here for 10 minutes and I'm going to come back and see how well these blend out. I did not draw very hard or color very hard. I didn't press down. I just did a light sketching. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's been a little, about 15 minutes actually, so I am going to, got lost track of time. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so I want to see if these are <clears throat> had another little thought in my head, and once again, as soon as it came in, out it went. There was something... Oh, I was going to try the smudge method to see if it if it smudged. When, you know, like when you use your finger or something like that. <clears throat> oh, is that the lavender, I think? It does a little, leaves a little bit left on your finger. one maybe I'll take the uh, you know actually what works with these synthetic brushes as far as a cleaner goes is plain old dishwashing liquid <laughs> yep so I'm gonna try now this one it's a not as well maybe it's the same same width this is the white <laughs> see it woo that looks awesome doing something. I can see paper. I can see water. I can see. Yeah, that actually 
it's white. Want to see it? <laughs> there on the black. You can't really see the white. You can kind of see it right there. Right there. Okay, that's both on watercolor paper and mixed media paper. Different weights, 140 pound for the watercolor paper and 98 pound for the mixed media paper. And if you're going to do like little swatches and test it out or something, be warned that it's going to leave these little swatch marks if you're trying to blend out the the color. Like The only one that did that fared the best was this one that I smudged with my finger. <clears throat> So I don't know. I don't know what to say. They're okay, and I'll probably use them. What I want to use them for is uh, would be like pictures. So that's perfect. I'm gonna turn these into uh, full-on doodles. <laughs> that's what they are anyway. <clears throat> oh my goodness. And. I had pancakes for supper. <laughs> so my um, my sleeping habits are going downhill when I'm on vacation, when I don't have have to work or anything. So <laughs> my sleeping habits go to my normal sleeping habits, really, which is stay up all night and then sleep all day. Uh, this one, this is what I usually use these things for. Okay, I'm going to do. Uh, this. Well, that's losing some of its chipping off. Oh, I'm, I'm not, that was my elbow falling off my arm armrest on my chair. So I'm going to use a baby wipe to blend these colors. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to also zoom out. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> I start getting into the coloring aspect of it and then lose all sense of time. Time goes very quickly or maybe not quickly. Well, yeah. When I'm doing a picture. And this, I think... I don't know, just blend it yellow into blue, making a bit of a green, a green mix there. Like there was something on it. So I'm going to add a little purple up here. I might be muddying things. A little magenta up here. Let's see if I can fix, fix this part. <coughs> I'm not sure I can. Kind of saving the green for down here.
this is really what I bought these for. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to take the white, try this with the white. I'm going to start up here. I have to move move the colors out of the way so you can see everything and hopefully I won't <clears throat> go off screen. So I don't want I don't want it to streak or I don't want to see lines. The color I'm seeing colored lines here. They're not blending like they did up here <clears throat> as well as I I want them to. Okay, and then Possibly up here. about that in my off screen. So I do see some lines there that I created and that the baby wipe is not, or that the wipe is not taking off. Really got to stop correcting myself. <laughs> that, that's awesome, right? That looks cool. It's too, that's not blended in enough. Like I can see the well-defined line here, purple. Like so... Let's throw in and that I might need. Now I'm just gonna try and still do the same wipe to see that it's still damp. There's definitely a difference because it's not as wet as it was. Oh yeah, something's going on on that computer. It's not dirty, I can tell you that.
I can tell you, this is also very, very relaxing. So I'm going to hear... What do you think? Looks good, except for I can still see, like, the... The crayon lines type of deal. Ta-da! I have to sign it. With what? <laughs> hmm. Wonder with what. That is cool. That worked really well on mixed media paper. If I would have, I've done this, um, this type of picture. Actually, I probably have a picture of it on my phone. Uh, uh, uh. I can show you that. Instead of breaking away. Okay, now this one. Now, well, you can see it. This one, try and get it as straight as I can there. Uh, this one I did with watercolor pencils. And after I did it, is that, yeah, that's right. Uh, after I did it, <clears throat> it looks very light compared to this picture. After I did this, I was thinking, I kept wondering if watercolor crayons existed because this would have been a really good picture to put to add not just the watercolor pencils but the watercolor crayons as well. So that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> I was gonna draw that flower but I kinda got carried away and did the uh, <laughs> decided to do the swatch test on two different types of paper to see if that those swatch squares would stick around even on watercolor paper and this is kinda folding up but I think when it dries it'll it'll flatten again. Who knows? Maybe not. I really like this. I like this paper. Uh, this did a, I did a really good job with this, and I need to use something to sign my name. Send <laughs> signature. If I'm gonna frame this, should my signature be up more? Yeah. Uh, no. Yep. I don't know. There it is. There you saw me sign it right on camera. Woohoo! That's it. So, what what kind of lineage are we seeing here? There's a little bit here. A little bit here. Does need a little bit of work. Maybe I need to practice more. I don't know. Okay. Get the spinner. I recently randomized the color, or the colors, the adjectives, so it's no longer running around in alphabetical order when I spin the spinner. Have a lively day. I like it. Bye.